All right, guys, this is another one of Gav's screen recordings. Um, this is putting numbers, page numbers, onto pages, okay? So we've done this in class, but it's just a bit of a refresher. I've got a 32-page document, so if I go to Document Setup, 32 pages. Remember, we've got facing pages on as it's a magazine, your sizing, orientation, bleed, slug, all the rest of it. And if for some reason that stuff isn't there underneath the bleed and slug, some people get stuck. More options, that's what we're doing. Okay. Here's our document. We've got a cover, inside cover, contents, yada, yada. What we're going to do is this, we need to put a, a page number or a page, a marker number on the master page. So up here, we're going to double click on the master page. And as you can see, all these little A's here, they're saying that's a master page. So on that, I'm going to put a big old page number just to make it okay so big ugly red page numbers I hope yours are better than this but that's going to sit at the bottom and that's going to be page just to see what the font will look like page one okay so we're on the master page we've typed in what we want to do you might just want a number but we want page one so select the physical number that you want to change right click I'll go slowly here Insert special character, come across to markers, and then it's current page number. Or command option shift N. It looks like it would do the same thing. Current page number, that would turn that to an A. The reason being is it's on a master page. It's called A. If you do a big document, you might have many master pages, but that's what it is. It's A. So if I go back to this, that becomes page one, two, three, and you can see every time it lands on a page, the page number will appear. If for some reason on page 9 and 10 or 10 and 11 you want a picture to run across, the none page in the up above the master pages, drag that over to the top of 10 and it will take off what's on the master page. Onto the 11 and then you can have a double page picture or whatever you want. And the same goes if you want to put it back on, drag that onto 10. So you can Apply them or unapply them, if there's such a word, for each thing. And the other thing we want to do is we want to start page one on here. Okay, so what we want to do is this is a little bit not tricky, but you've just got to make sure that you're on that page where you want it to start. So you can see that that's blued out a little bit. So I'm going to right, right click on that one. Now I'm in the right spot. Numbering and section options. Okay, and so start section, you can see here start page numbering at one okay so that'll start it at the number one at the section that you've asked it to be you can do all different number prefixes and section markers and stuff but just for us it's just page one so go okay it'll talk about um this problems about having different just ignore it for now okay go okay and you can see there that is now page one two three but what we've got now we've got two page one so not to confuse anyone Grab none, go over the top of the cover, grab none, go over the top of the inside cover, and off you go. Okay, so pages four and five, if you delete them, they're gone, but the next page four and five, they're always going to run in the right order, right down to the end. And on page 28, normally you wouldn't have a number, so come down in your page palette over here. I'm just talking to myself here, it's always an interesting day. None, and there you go, that's it. If you want to change your things, just go back in. And obviously that's stupidly big, so we're going to make that a lot smaller. Put it in the right spot, make it look good, just wherever you put it. See, it looks wonderful now, doesn't it? So go back to this and you'll see that they're all in the right spot down here. Okay, thanks for that. So hopefully that makes sense.